Good day, everyone. Welcome to this short tutorial on how to create online examination in your virtual learning environment. There are several ways of uh, creating online examination in the virtual learning environment. In this particular session, we will create online examination through the direct route, meaning we go straight to the course and then add questions or create a quiz and then add items for a particular quiz or examination. So let's say, for example, I open one of my courses here. I'm logged in, the BLE. So here's my course. And this is the front page of my course. Let's say, for example, I want to add a quiz in this topic, assessment principles and concepts. To do that, I need to start by turning the editing on. Okay, once you have your editing on, you notice the changes you see here, all the edit menus here. So as I said, let's say, for example, we want to go straight create a quiz. In one of the topics, let's say, for example, topic one. And if I'm in an editing mode, what will happen is that you will see this, this two, two menus here. This one will be to add resources, but you will not use that. Instead, to create your quiz or examination, you will use add an activity menu. So in add activity, when you click it, it will open to several activities that you can actually use in your online courses using your VLE. And for this particular exercise, we will use quiz. So we go click quiz, and then it will open to this window. You can actually name your quiz. For example, it first prelim exam. Then you can add uh, some description if you want. But if you add description in this area, please make sure that you also click display so that the students can read all about the examination. It can include objectives, topics to be covered, etc., etc. Then you can continue editing the settings for this particular examination. You can talk about timing. When will this happen? You can enable it. For example, say it will happen April 30. That will be April 20, 2020, 30, 2020. And then you set the time. It would happen, for example, at 8 a.m. And you can be exact uh, 8 a.m. And you may enable this particular option, which is to close the quiz. So let's say, for example, you want it on the, within the 24 hours period, then you can go or the whole day, then you can set your closing at about 9 p.m. You can also limit the amount of time needed to answer the test. So you can probably say, for example, this will only run for 10 minutes. So therefore, when students would attempt the examination, they should uh, be able to finish it in 10 minutes. Otherwise, the examination will close and all the other options available. So you can check all the other options. You can talk about grading, layout, meaning do you want the question to appear in single page or you want several items or questions appearing in one single page. You can also talk about shuffling the question. That would mean a question will appear or shuffled. So even when students are taking at the same time, they are not actually taking the same or answering the same questions at the same time. So it's important because especially when students probably are answering the examination uh, together and to avoid copying, they will be looking at different questions because the items are automatically shuffled. And you can do all the other options. So you can check all of them. Then you can just save and display. So now you have the first prelim exam here in the in this particular editing page. Now it tells you no questions have been added yet. So the next thing you will do is to edit the quiz. And now what you will notice will be another window. But here, in this particular window, you can now start adding your questions. So we just select add here on the right side and it will give you several options. Uh, 
for today our option is to add a new question meaning uh, we will create a new question instead of importing question from an existing item bank so we click questions and what you will notice is that it will give you several uh, question types to choose from so you have multiple choice true false short answer let's say fill in the blanks you can do the short answer numerics for example if the answers would be numbers or you can even do ask them to calculate if needed if it's a mathematics a physics or courses that would require calculation for longer than short answer you can do essay and so many other options so there are so many things actually that you can do so you can combine and uh, you can choose uh, a type that will be appropriate for the type of learning outcome that you want to measure so after you have decided on what type you want you just click add now you're ready to create your first item so you just click add a new question and you can start for example by creating a multiple choice this is the most popular type of item question item format anyway so let's click that one now it will open to this particular window and this win window will be the question editing window so we start by placing the correct category for this examination and let's have for example first prelim exam the question name is for example micro microbiology and virology and your question text let's say for example covid 19 is a so this since this is a multiple choice sentence completion format we have a colon there and then we can just add the responses below if you want to give a feed, general feedback you can do so but it's not necessary not really necessary now you can have a one answer only option and in this particular situation actually we only have one answer or you can have multiple answer for example if you instead of saying a and b is correct a and c is correct then it he will be or the students will be appropriately checking the correct choice and then after that you've selected that then you go to creating your answers so let's say for example here covid our question is covid 19 is a you can say a, bac a bacteria and you can move downwards and since this is wrong you can put grade you can have us grade none you can have an ad a feedback if you want um the next choice for example will be a virus and then you can if this is the correct answer then we can put 100 percent here or one point the 100 percent is the correct answer but if you have multiple choice with multiple answer format then you can add let's say for example you have three choices that are correct then you can have a 33 percent 33 percent assignment choice number three let's say for example you want to put parasite okay or four you will add let's say for example fungi i'm just making this up so i'm not sure if some of my options are relevant to this particular question but anyway uh, another would be uh, one cause would be let's say so we have fungi or you can stop at four if you don't have enough options available for you you can actually extend the options because there's here blank for three more choices but you don't have to do that because four or five choices will be enough then you can do other uh change the other options like try multiple try or tags so you can tag it as a so that we, you want to search it you can search it according to uh grade let's say tag it as a first year question second year question microbiology question down the down the line so you save your changes so now you have your question here 
okay so if you want to preview the question and how it will appear in the actual test so this is how it will appear in an actual test if students or will take the test online so you have here the question COVID-19 is like one a virus bacteria fungi so they can just basically select no uh, and then move to the next question if you have other questions here so you can they can save they can submit and finish if it's the end or if they have fulfilled all the 10 questions for example then you can add more questions if you want again add create another question maybe a true false maybe a fill in the blank it depends on you but that's exactly how you do that and if you have done enough then you can now particularly make your examination available but if you have if you actually added the date it will automatically open on a particular date and students will be reminded by VLE that a quiz is scheduled and they should be taking that particular quiz okay this is all for this session thank you for using this tutorial till next time have a good day